There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. This is video just into Fox News from minutes ago. Defense officials launched a, mis a missile as part of a test to try to shoot down an intercontinental ballistic missile similar to the one North Korea is now said to be developing. The missile took off from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base in an attempt to intercept a missile that was launched from the Marshall Islands. This is the first time the military is attempting to intercept that type of missile, and analysts say this could be very challenging. This defense system has a little more than a 50% success rate when the Pentagon used it to try to shoot down shorter range missiles. Over the weekend, North Korean officials launched their third ballistic missile test this month, according to U.S. defense officials, and we're continuing to watch this video. And as we do, and I want to keep watching this, I want to turn to uh, our own correspondent, Jonathan Hunt, who's at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Explain what's supposed to happen now, Jonathan. Well, Chap, it was a spectacular sight, as you can plainly see, as that ground-based interceptor missile took off from here at Vandenberg. Now, about now, and the actual minutes to intercept uh, is a classified time, but about now, uh, it should be, they hope, hitting the ICBM. Now, as, as you mentioned, the ICBM was launched by the U.S., unarmed, of course, from the Marshall Islands in the Pacific. Then, a few minutes after that, the interceptor was launched from here at Vandenberg. And then, with the ICBM traveling at around 16 thousand miles per hour basically a five foot long very high-tech metal projectile will separate from the interceptor missile and hopefully strike the incoming ICBM as Admiral James Searing the head of the missile defense agency told us in an exclusive interview it's no easy task listen here it's very difficult we're talking about intercepting in space at hundreds of miles of altitude with closing velocities of thousands of miles per hour. It's hitting a bullet with a bullet. But it is the Missile Defense Agency's job to perfect the art of hitting a bullet with a bullet, especially in the face of this ramped up testing that we have seen in the last few months by the North Koreans. And most experts say, Shep, they believe that North Korea is in, within a few short years of being able to target the mainland United States with a nuclear tipped warhead. So this test today, Shep absolutely critical. And, and these interceptors, are they like always ready to go? They're 24-7, Shep. Uh, most of them are actually based up at Fort Greeley in Alaska. 32 of the 36 interceptor missiles that the U.S. has. We got exclusive access to Fort Greeley ahead of this test where those 54-foot-long uh, missiles are stored in 70-foot deep silos. Uh, there is a team that is on call 24-7 in the, in the control room there. We met with them. They are extraordinary men doing a very difficult job, and they practice every single day. And because of that, Lieutenant Colonel Jim Brower, who is the commanding officer of the 49th Missile Defense Battalion, believes that the U.S. can and will be defended if and when it's necessary. Listen here. We are very confident in the ground-based interceptors and the technology that we have. But again, if we're talking about a nuclear warhead headed to L.A., we want to make sure that we get it. They want to make sure they get any missile headed towards L.A. or indeed any other American city. As many of the men and women who serve up there told us, Shep, this is absolutely a no-fail mission. We'll see if they succeed today in this critical test, Shep. Yep, we'll find out later. We'll report it here. Jonathan Hunt, thank you, sir.